Hey fellow Vault winners, it's Angry Turtle and a Steel Ray update is dropping tomorrow, imagine that, one day away. I'm doing my legendary crafting guide. Tip and tricks, how to farm the cores, how to get the modules, how to optimize your crafting, how to get possibly the best legendary for yourself. Let's start from ingredients, because as you know, you will need legendary modules and legendary cores. As you can see here, free star, and I always advise you to craft free star. It's like the best value. You shouldn't really craft one star or two star. If possible, always go for free star. And you can see it will require you five legendary cores and four legendary modules per craft. Now, how to get them? Legendary modules, you already know. Basically, you need to go to the purveyor in the ash heap in here and buy them with your scrip then that's easy. Now, the course. The course you get from public events, like all those events on the map with this exclamation mark, and it just disappeared, yeah. Uh, another one will appear later, but only the events with exclamation mark will give you legendary course. Like, for example, if you do any of regular events, they do not grant any legendary course. Then, if you are after course, exclamation mark, event, and amount of cores depend on difficulty. What means you want to do hard ones because they drop free cores. And for example, one of the best pylon ambush site imposter event, imposter ship squatch. You can activate with a card. It's rather fast. It's difficult. Therefore, it's dropping a lot of cores. Then you can do that on top of everything. You can server hop and activate it again if no one else activated it on such server because if you don't know there is three hours cooldown on this event on the server but you can activate it as many times as you want as long as you hop the server and it wasn't activated like it's a server based cooldown it's not your personal cooldown uh, now of course if you do scorch beast queen or if you do mr colossus it is good as well it's granting those cores then Cores are sorted, modules are sorted. Uh, now, what you should use for crafting? You should use weapons, armors, or power armors with possibly as high durability as you can get. Uh, let's go and start, as example, with a weapon fixer. Now, you can see this bar. Apart from the level affecting the length of condition bar, your intelligence is affecting this condition bar while crafting. And in case of weapons dropped from enemies, your luck will affect amount of condition that those weapons have, how long this bar is. And you cannot ever upgrade the condition bar. Therefore, whatever you will use for legendary crafting, it stays. And how to get high intelligence? There are two easy ways to achieve that. One, you can use unyielding armor that will boost all your special, or you can go on any train station, use the pair cut machine and move like temporary for crafting your points to intelligence to max it out this way. Now let's craft some and I will craft three. Uh, generally, I will recommend you to craft more than one if you have problems with script because script limit is being doubled then it will be a little bit harder to keep up with script if you are not playing a lot and then when you go and put the legendary mod on it i'm going for free star and this is actually a really good one i can keep it for myself or i can have it for trade as tradable weapons after crafting into legendary remains tradable then I can go for next fixer, do the same thing. And let's say I don't want this one, therefore I will use it for a script, but I do not reroll it. Because if you use this option again, you will reroll all the stars. You are saving on the crafting components required to get a fixer, but in the same time, you are not getting any script back. Then that's a trade-off in here. And I have third one. It's made it legendary and this is a berserker then not something what I want another script but one good one then now in this situation like let's say you don't have problem with script 
then of course you feel free to roll it as many times as you will get something that you want. That's fine. And whenever you craft, you see this uh, a little bit odd warning. It doesn't actually remove any modifications from your weapon. It basically, they were trying to say that it will reroll all your legendary effects on the weapon. Now the power armor, because armor is basically the same thing as weapons, then there is no difference, no reason to go over it. Uh, now power armor. What I would advise you to do is keep more than one frame, because you will be getting a good pieces that not necessarily the ones you want at the moment, but you can keep them on different frames, because the beauty of power armor, if you have your pieces on the frame, the power armor weighs only 10 pounds, regardless of how heavy the pieces are, and on top of everything, it can be a perfect storage for your script material, because legendary power armor pieces, three star, are worth 80 script each, and you can imagine that's a lot of script. Then even if you get bad rolls, like if you have more than one set of power armor, you can keep them for scripting later, assuming you have enough components to craft multiple sets of power armor. If you don't have, then of course you can keep re-rolling. And why I said that there is no reason to use one star or two star mods, because even if I go for a two star, even if I get something that I would like to keep, I cannot upgrade it into three star. Therefore, it's better off to just always go for three star and hope for the best outcome. Now, I wasn't successful with any of those mods, but if I decide to just store it, if I will need script in the future, then this full set of free star script is worth 400 script. What's quite a lot. If you can afford to craft multiple sets and then script them, if you have a lot of scrap in your scrap box, then that's probably the way to go. Now it's probably worth to mention that there are some exceptions from legendary crafting, like some weapons cannot be made legendary, like for example a drill, and in the same time the name legendary, like the fact finder, cannot have those legendary effects change, like all the name legendaries, they cannot be used for legendary crafting. And the last thing that you need to know, if you will be going after any specific type of effects, Make sure that you understand how this stuff works, because when you look sometimes on those weapons, the effects are not in order as they actually work. Like first star effect, in this case, is double damage if target is full health. Then second star effect is 40% faster swing speed. And third star effect is 90% reduced weight. You need to know that you cannot combine two first star effect, like for example, you cannot have double damage if target is full health combined with bloodied. Those two cannot happen on one weapon because they both occupy the first star spot and it applies to all the effects. Therefore, you need to be sure that what you want to get is actually possible. Otherwise, you will waste a lot of resources and time and you will be disappointed. Another thing that you need to know, in case of power armor, you need to know that every legendary effect that's available on armor is available on power armor. And the most significant here is unyielding. Unyielding is not available on power armor. And if you will try to get one, you will not. Similar situation is with energy weapons. They cannot roll with explosive legendary effect. And there is more exceptions, but I just encourage you to check beforehand if what you want to get is possible. You can always ask on some followed communities, Discord, Reddit, and I'm sure people will answer you if you tell them what you want to get, if it's possible. And quick self-advertisement here. Our Turtle Community Discord is always linked in video description, and you can use this one. If you still have any questions how to get your legendary armor, power armor, or weapon, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.